your Verizon router parental controls. First, you want to Google 192.168.1.1 or click on this link in order to get to the website. Uh, it will have this message that will say that your connection is not private. All you have to do is click advanced right here, advanced. And once you do that, you want to click proceed. And once you click this, you'll be taken into the website. For your variety, once it, it takes you to this website, it will have your it'll have your username which is automatically put in as admin and then you, you will need to type in a password this password can be located on the back of your router which is right here and it's you can also scan the qr code once you are logged in you will have you will see this option that says parental controls all you're going to do is click this arrow and it will take you to the parental control settings. Once you see the parental controls, you will see a list of devices that are connected to the internet. You need to identify the, the, the device that you want to block internet on. And you can do this by first identifying what kind of device it is. If it is a Windows device, you will need to go to the bottom left of your computer and click on setting. Then you want to click system. And then you click about at the very bottom. And this tells you the device name. If you are on a Mac, you go to the top left where you see the Apple logo. Click on system preferences, sharing. And then you will see the name of your MacBook Pro right here. Once you have identified the name of your device, you're going to select it and then click add. And then it'll be one of your selected devices. Then you will click on allow the following websites and embedded keywords within a URL. What this does is it blocks every other website except for the ones that you allow. So this is so this is important. So <clears throat> if you want to block, uh, if you don't want to go through everything that your child goes, like you don't want to have to block YouTube and all their games. <clears throat> Instead, you can just choose what they're only allowed to go to. So you would type in the keyword, which is what you want. Then you need to add a, add a schedule. So this can be done automatically. So you don't have to activate this every day. All you have to do is check mark Monday through Friday and click on rule will be activated at the scheduled time. This means during the selected times, the rule will be activated. And then you select the starting time and then the end time, which is from nine to 12, which is when our cl uh, classes start and end, AM, PM. And then this makes it so that from nine to 12, your child cannot access uh, anything that you block. Then you hit apply.